Well, welcome back to Living Local. Coffee is one of the most popular beverages in the entire world. Caffeinated brew comes in many different varieties and flavors to satisfy your Java cravings, but one local business is fixating on one coffee drink in particular, espresso. And joining me in studio is Kim and Glenn Dietman, owners of Caffeine Queen Espresso. Thanks for being here today, guys. Thanks for having us. I really appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about how the uh, Caffeine Queen Espresso got started. Well, we moved here from Virginia. The Army thought we should live here instead of there. <laughs> and we started doing coffee for a friend of mine who does it all over the country. Same kind of setup. But we thought, well, why can't we do this as well? So we got our first espresso machine, and now we have two espresso machines, and <laughs> we have two carts with a refrigerator and a water heater in it. So we can go just about anywhere and do serve just about a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. Also, thanks for bringing in the very aesthetically pleasing car. This oh, is, no problem. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Uh, how, what's your history with coffee uh, particularly? Personally? Personally, have you work? Have you, you said you've been a barista before? Yeah, I was a barista at the cafe that I worked at in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And when I came here, I didn't like the coffee I was having to get out of my Keurig. So I was sending home there, Virginia, <laughs> for beans, because <laughs> I really like the beans there. Mm -hmm. So they would send me beans, and I would, had to get a grinder so I could grind them up, and then it just kind of snowballed. Yeah, absolutely. Into all yeah. this. There's a little bit of a coffee snob myself. I feel that. You got to have <laughs> the right beans. All righty. So, uh, espresso is different from regular just drip coffee. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the difference strength wise? What was the difference there? So, the big difference between hot brew coffee and espresso is a coarse grind for hot brew coffee. And then it's a, you know, basically very hot water. And then with espresso, the difference is it's a very fine grind, uses about half the amount of coffee beans, but it's steamed. So it's actually injected with steam through the porta filter uh, to make a much more uh, refined coffee. So instead of a large pot, you get about four ounces okay. out of one pour. Gotcha. A little bit uh, stronger in strength as well because of that. For sure. Yeah, absolutely awesome. So uh, what variety of drinks do you serve when it comes to espresso? Well, espresso is the base of just about every drink that any coffee shop serves. So you can do a latte, which is steamed milk. You can do an Americano, which is hot water added to it. Um, you can just drink espresso straight <laughs> if you would like to. All of our drinks come with two shots of espresso, and then you just mix it up. You can use a variety of milk. You can have soy milk, oatmeal milk. You can use um, oh. almond milk whole milk, skim milk, you know, there's just so many things that you can do. And the flavors you can put in, you can do a white mocha, you can do a regular mocha, <laughs> salted caramel, raspberry, vanilla, whatever. The varieties are endless. Even, yes. even beyond the espresso, we also do hot teas when we cater events, and we also uh, have Italian soda, which is uh, basically mineral water with some fruit syrup in it that the kids love. <laughs> uh, hot chocolate, what else, cold brew. We've started cold doing brew. cold brew mm -hmm. coffee. Yeah, cold brew. Yeah. Good One of my favorites. There. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what kind of beans do you use? Uh, you're telling me a little bit uh, about they're from Guatemala. So for the uh, for the espresso, we use a Guatemalan uh, coffee bean. It uh, is actually made grown on a farm that's run by women. Uh, it's an old family-owned farm, but uh, a gal named Camilla Tupke bought half interest in the farm, and the mission of the farm is to help women in Guatemala grow the role in the working economy. So. Um, they train them on all aspects of raising the beans and harvesting them. In addition, uh, they educate the kids. They have an elementary school they've started for those kids and the surrounding farms. They partner with the health services agency in Guatemala and they bring in health clinics for them, but really focused on creating a family atmosphere and empowering the women. That's fascinating. It fits in well with the Caffeine Queen name as well. Where did that mm -hmm. come from? It was on a little sign. <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting around trying to figure out, well, what should we name it? And uh, there just happened to be this little sign that she had gotten a while back when she yeah. was excited about coffee. Yeah. And we happened to see it and, you know, why not Caffeine Queen? She was like, oh, yeah, brilliant. So, I love it. I yeah. love it. A royal brew for sure. There we go. All righty. Well, you brought the machine. So uh, can you show us uh, how you make one of the beverages? Sure. I'm going to make a hot white mocha raspberry latte. Oh, that sounds good. I'm so, excited. Okay. So you've already ground up the, the beans, which I is have. a very fine grind. It is a very fine grind, and I didn't want to make a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start that, and then we're going to do some milk. Okay. 
This is going to be regular milk, so anybody who likes regular milk, you're <laughs> in. And so you said that it's actually the steam is pumping through the espresso beans in there? Yes, it's actually steam pushing th through the beans. And wow. the grind on the beans and the amount of beans is actually real critical. You have to grind it so that it actually pours about 22 to 20 second, 26 seconds. If it's too coarse, it'll pour shorter, and you'll end up with a more bitter mm. coffee. So. so it takes a long time to get that together. Yeah, yeah I spend an entire day and <laughs> half a bag of coffee trying to get the grind right. Well, this is why you're the caffeine queen. <laughs> king. <laughs> That's the king. King and, king and queen, for sure. Okay, so now I'm going to steam. And that's just forcing steam into the milk okay. to make it hot, and it bubbles on the top. Well, it now, chemically alters the, the milk, so it actually makes it sweeter. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's why they actually steam it. And like a cappuccino is heavily foamed, mm -hmm. and it makes gives it even softer and sweeter flavor. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to catch you up. Okay. <laughs> no problem. That's cool. Learning a lot. I, I've always wondered what the, the purpose of other than just making it frothy. I didn't know anything well, you're about heating that. it up. It is. Yeah. And you can see the, she only had it about half full when she started. Now the yeah, pitcher's now almost, it's almost full. full. Wow. So that's how much it. Hmm. I can attest to that. That is, that is true. <laughs> that is true. All so right. I'm not a big latte art person, so I just <laughs> poured in here. I figured that people just want to drink it. You know. That's very true. She's been working on her heart <laughs> right. shape, though. So i got to try it now, I guess. It's going to be hot, too. so be careful. I drink a lot I know, of coffee, I know, so I know. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too hot. 2.30 in the morning is... Oh. Is that good? That's good. good. <laughs> Probably got a little mustache going on. Oh, man. A raspberry? The, oh. We need a minute. Okay. That, that's mm. the queen's favorite. Too. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Recommended. Hey, I love it. All righty. So how many people can you serve? Because you do uh, catering, is that correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. So how many people do you usually serve? So, off of one machine, we try to project about 60 persons an hour. That's why we have two machines. Okay. And we can actually increase that if we go to single shots. So mm -hmm. um, we made about 240 drinks off one machine in three hours at the Water Lantern Festival in Des Moines this past weekend. So it was, it was cranking. Wow, that's really, really... Yeah. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of coffee. It was now. a lot of coffee and hot <laughs> chocolate. Yes, it was. Gotcha. Well, uh, since it's a unique concept, having catering of coffee. What kind of reactions have you gotten so far? Very positive. Mm -hmm. People love the coffee. Um, it's, a, it's a nice way to be able to bring a coffee shop to your business or your event. Mm. And um, we're there. We're there for a couple hours. We're pretty quiet. We don't take up a whole lot of room and we're out. And yeah, we're very inexpensive compared to like an open bar. Mm. So mm -hmm. like uh, we did an engagement party for a Muslim a couple up in Chicago a couple weekends ago. We're doing a wedding in Dubuque in another, what, two weeks or three mm. weeks. And then uh, we're doing a, an event for a business here in Rock Island at the end of October, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. So, so mm -hmm. weddings, uh, parties, corporate events, mm -hmm. you guys do it all. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. That's really cool. And it can be inside or out. Inside or outside. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, what does the future look like for Caffeine Queen Espresso Catering? Probably to cover more states. Um, right now, we've primarily been in Davenport and, or Iowa and uh, Chicago, but we could probably go, I mean, I still have kids left in Ohio and Virginia and South Carolina, so hmm. I'm hoping that we can branch out and travel. Gotcha. So even if someone has a wedding out of town or something like that, they could mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. contact you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's very, very exciting. So um, how long do you usually stay catering the uh, events? So coffee, it's not exactly a, a whole event type thing? Um, oh, usually during a wedding, <laughs> it's when they cut the cake. Mm. So you mm. want to be there for an hour or two to get everybody served, and then you pack up and move on. Um, in a, a corporate event, usually at the beginning of the event, people want to get their coffee and they want to move on. So, you know, you just want to be there for a couple hours. But you guys can do a variety of things. Right. But we would stay as long as somebody wants Right. To. Absolutely. Cool. Hmm. Cake and coffee. That sounds yeah. good. That's a good <laughs> idea. I'm getting married next year, so I'll keep that in mind. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for being here today. We really appreciate it, and the drink's amazing. Oh, really, really thank good. you for having us. All righty. Well, for more information, you can find Caffeine Queen on Facebook. We'll also take those details. We'll post them on our website, ourquadcities.com. We're back with more Living Local right after this.